Welcome to this performance piece. We're gonna be looking at the B minor pentatonic scale. And this song or this solo is using just that scale up on the seventh fret here. Some of the techniques that the solo has are some hammer-ons, some pull-offs. So a hammer-on, what you wanna do is pluck the note once, and then press your finger down hard enough. Don't pluck again, press the finger down hard enough that another note sounds. Pull-off is just the opposite of that. But you're just literally pulling off this finger until the other note sounds. Hammer-ons and pull-offs happen just on the same string. And sometimes you can play uh, both hammer-on and a pull-off, so just one pluck and you get three different notes. Sounding notes. The solo also uses a slur on the G string. Goes from the eighth fret to the seventh. So again, you're just plucking it one time, but then you hear two notes. Also some palm muting. And palm muting, what you wanna do is just rest the palm on the strings so that the string is not really ringing and vibrating for a long time. There's also a double stop, which means that two strings are played at once. And we're gonna play that using an upstroke. We're gonna play the seventh fret of the G and the B string. We'll get to it in the lick, but that's what a double stop is. The chords for this tune are B minor, G major, and F sharp minor. So you can play full bar chords. Or if you want, play smaller chords in a higher register. So this is a G major seven with the root third seven and F sharp minor, again, root third and seven. And if you play this minor without the pinky, then it becomes a minor seven, and both will work over the tune. So this tune is inspired by more funk rock players, people like John Schofield, or bands like the New Master Sounds. I'd recommend checking out John Schofield's album, A Go-Go, if you enjoy this piece. So the first lick, you're gonna start on the seventh fret of the low sixth string. Jump to the ninth fret of the D string. And that first note, you want it to be really short. You can give it a little palm mute as well. So here, what you wanna do, pull off. So pull off from the ninth fret to the seventh fret. Ninth fret on the A string and then back to seven and nine on the D string, and that is gonna be a hammer-on. And all of this can kind of be palm muted. You know, in funk, you want the notes to be more short and separated. After you play that, then you want to go back to the low sixth string on the 10th fret. Play that note twice. Seventh fret of the A string. Ninth fret of the A string. When you go to that ninth fret, you want to get a little hammer on there. So again, you want to be careful because you only pluck the note one time, or the string once. And you play this twice. Just some notes on picking as well. Um, when you're jumping that octave, try playing both of those with downstrokes. And when you go to the back to the A string, use an upstroke and then back to a downstroke on the D string. 
here, down up, up. Let's play it together slow. One, two, three, four. So the second phrase of the performance starts on the seventh fret of the D string. So you're gonna play seven, nine, seven, nine on the G string. And then a response to that call. So you don't need to pluck this ninth fret, you can also use a hammer on there. Repeat the first. And then the call to this one, you're gonna play 10th fret of the B string. And then here a little slide from the 10th fret to the 9th fret on the G string. Kind of slide over that blues note and then pull off to seven. Ending on the ninth fret of the D string. What you wanna also think about is your vibrato. Try not to make it frantic, but kind of slow, think slow and wide. And this slide is, is really fast. You don't want to get off it as soon as you're on it. Let's try it together. One, two, Three, four. Great. So the third phrase of this solo starts on the seventh fret of the B string, and then it goes to 10 and then the seventh fret of the E string. I'm playing that note twice. And this is really palm muted, so more you wanna, again, keeping your palm on the strings back here, but pressing down a little bit more so that the, mute is, the, the note is really choked. So that repeats a few times. three times, and then seventh fret of the B string, 10th fret of the high E string, and you wanna give that just a little bend. You're not really necessarily getting up to another note, but you're just giving that, that note a little bend. Sometimes if, if, if you're struggling with that, it helps to kind of use two fingers. Get your whole hand going. And then just walking down the scale. Seven, 10, seven, nine on the G, seven on the G, ending on the ninth fret of the D string. So this comes in on the and of two. One, two, three, four, one, two.
So the last phrase starts with a hammer-on pull-off together. So you're only picking the string one time on the G. Hammer on, and as soon as you hammer that on, you pull it off. And then you go to the, the ninth fret of the D string. And then seventh fret of that string. And just pull off to get to that seventh fret. And then similar on the next two strings below it. And then walk down the pentatonic scale. And this hammer on pull off is really fast. So as soon as you pluck that seventh fret of the G string, you've got a hammer on and pull off going. And keep these notes really short and separated as well. And then just like the beginning. And then it ends on that double stop where what you're gonna do is pluck down and mute the strings. And on the way back up, you're going to use an upstroke on the seventh fret of the B string and the G string. Let's try it together. This phrase starts on beat three. One, two, three, four. One, two. Great job with that. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Before you go, are you an intermediate guitarist? Have you stopped making progress and you don't know how to get to the next level? Go to Pick Up Music. We're the only site that specializes in guitar lessons for intermediate guitarists.